Welcome Woodblock Print collectors and enthusiasts. Today I'm going to talk about the benefits of using acrylic frames versus traditional frames for your woodblock prints. First, I have great respect for the traditional art of framing. Selecting the right size and color of mat, finding the right frame, putting the whole thing together is a craft and an art. And it might make sense for you if you only have a few prints. But if you have 10, 30, 50 prints or more and you don't have a gallery to hang them in, the acrylic frame option may be the best one for you. Here are five reasons why I think acrylic frames are better. Number one, publisher marks. One of the most interesting things about a Japanese woodblock print, besides the design itself, are the accompanying publisher marks and sensor seals that are often on the outside edge or border of the print. If your print does have these marks, then I believe they should be shown as part of the uh, art and the design of the print. And as you can see in these examples, if you cover those marks with a mat or a frame, you lose that opportunity. An acrylic frame is the best way to show the entirety of your print. Number two, paper features. Japanese woodblock prints are made on paper called washi. It's handmade. Many times it has a visible texture, variable thicknesses, and treatments like embossing. And it's much easier to appreciate this when you can see both sides of the print. Number three, the back of the print is visible. One of the most interesting parts of the woodblock printing process is that the back of the paper is rubbed with a tool called a baron to press it into the ink. Looking at the back of a woodblock print shows you the ink colors that have bled through the paper and the burnishing marks of the baron. These are fascinating parts of the printing process. Why hide them? Acrylic frames let you see both the front and the back of the print. All right, number four, let's talk about cost. Acrylic frames are less than half the price of a traditional frame. Uh, let's compare. If you go to a professional framer, you're looking at between $100 to $300, depending on the number of mats, the uh, type of frame that you're getting, and the kinds of glass that you're using. If you go the uh, do-it-yourself route with a traditional frame, you're looking at between, say, $20 to $50 for the frame, and then another $5 to $20 for the mat, and time required about an hour. The largest acrylic frame is about $20, and other miscellaneous supplies about a dollar. So uh, you're looking at a low cost frame that you can put together yourself in under 10 minutes. And number five is flexibility. Acrylic frames can be used both horizontally and vertically, attached to the wall or freestanding on picture rails or shelves. Plus it only takes a few minutes to switch prints and refresh your display. So instead of hiding your prints in dusty boxes and folders, you can rotate them through the frames and enjoy more of your collection. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is to use these acrylic frames. You'll need the frame, which is really just a couple of pieces of UV resistant acrylic, some acid-free tissue paper cut to the size of the print, and two thin strips of thicker acid-free paper to use as spacers. First, place the tissue paper on the back of the frame. Next, place the print on top of the tissue. I'm using this really pretty Hiroshige the second print for this example. In order to not have the print touch the acrylic panel, I place thin spacer strips at the top and bottom of the print. Next, put the front of the frame in place and tighten down the screws. No glue or tape used so far. But if you're worried about moisture, it's not hard to put a thin piece of tape around the edge of the frame to seal everything in. And we're done. Total time to do this, under five minutes, and a total cost of about $21. Acrylic frames aren't for everyone because it's quite a departure from the traditional aesthetic. 
but if it fits your collection and your design style, I believe it's a good option. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and happy collecting.